Before Darwinism took over late 19th century, virtually every Western biologist believed in intelligent design. Uh, the founders of all the modern biological disciplines, uh, Mendel, who founded genetics, Linnaeus, who founded taxonomy, the way we name organisms, uh, the early embryologists, the early paleontologists or fossil hunters, all of those people believed in design, and they founded modern biology. Darwinism came along and said, no, design is an illusion, but yet it kept all these disciplines, of course, with, that we now work in. And I see uh, the current revolution as, in a sense, a return to our roots, our scientific roots, uh, which were design roots. And uh, so I see science returning once again to a design paradigm. Uh, now, the Darwinists claim that this will restrict scientific inquiry. Uh, I see it just the opposite. What I see now is the Darwinists cannot allow any hint of design in living things. They have to exclude every, every possible aspect of design. And this narrows the range of explanations tremendously, and it forces them to cram the data into these boxes that end up distorting the truth. In a design paradigm, on the other hand, the whole range of explanations is, is wide open. It doesn't mean everything is designed, so some things can still be a product of random variation and natural selection, as Darwin said they were. But it greatly expands the range of explanations that we have and I think liberates science to follow the evidence wherever it leads. So I see a, a tremendous uh, invigoration, reinvigoration of scientific research, uh, opening up areas that uh, are now closed.